I'm going to show you how to take images of your artwork that look like this and turn them into something that looks like this using a few simple tools in Photoshop. Now you first need to arrive at an image that is somewhat decent. As bad as this image looks, it's actually a lot better than something that looks like this. Here we have a lot of camera glare, we have light fall off from the flash, we also have distortion in the image. So if you haven't watched part one of the video on how to take a good photograph of your image, make sure you, of your artwork, make sure you watch that first. So then once you have a decent image where the image is mostly upright and we're seeing everything clearly and there's even lighting, then here are the next steps to take your image a step further. So the first thing I like to do is grab the crop tool and clear up the extra background that's surrounding the image that we don't need. So I'm just going to click and drag an area for the crop tool and I'm going to actually rotate the crop tool to fit it to the orientation of the image and I'm going to pull it in on the sides to get rid of that extra bit of background that I don't need. And then when I hit enter or return it's going to straighten out my image and get rid of the background. There's still a little bit on the left hand side so I'm going to go in and just delete just a little bit more, hit enter and I'm good. The next thing I would recommend doing is going to Image Adjustments Black and White to turn your image into a black and white image. Now, this is something that you want to do when your artwork is a black and white drawing. Of course, you wouldn't do this if you were presenting something that was meant to be in color. So here we're talking about artwork that is black and white in the medium of drawing. <clears throat> and you want to turn it into a black and white image to make it look as close to the original as possible. The aim is always to make something look the way it appears as if you were looking at it in the room, hanging on a wall with good even lighting. So then the next step is to use something called levels. And what this is going to do is going, it's going to make the white of the paper whiter. So you're going to go to Image Adjustments Levels. And using this dialog box, you want to drag the little white arrow on the histogram over and notice that it's lightening up the background. You can play around with where you would like to put this, but usually what you want to do is have it start somewhere right at the beginning of your histogram where information starts to accumulate. You can also play around with these. Sometimes this will help you increase the contrast if you're, if you're uh, missing contrast in your image. So play around with these little arrow sliders and you can also use preview to see the before and the after effects. Hit OK when you're done. And there's still one left, one thing left that we can do to this image. Notice that there's a little bit of dark areas here and here in the image where it didn't quite get enough light at the corners. I can easily clean that up with something called the dodge tool. So come over here to this little wand shaped thing right below the paint bucket. It's called the dodge tool. If you don't see it, just click and hold until you get a drop down menu and select the one that's dodge tool. Now you might need to play around with the settings on your dodge tool. In general you want the hardness way down to zero. The size of the brush, the bigger the brush, the easier it is to get good even application. Um, you can play with the range, generally mid-tone works. And then the exposure. You definitely want to turn down the exposure maybe to 10 or 15 percent so that you're not overdoing it. And then what you do is you just click and drag over these areas and it will help to even out the values. So it will get rid of that dark area. And that's it. Now we have a nice, good, clean, even image. And again, there's the before and the after.